What's going on everybody? Jay How here. And I wanted to bring you guys a channel update because there's a lot going on. And uh, in the meantime, check out some of the PTR action that you can uh, look forward to coming up in patch 2.4, which is the first topic that we'll discuss. Patch 2.4 uh, with season five coming, it's going to be on January 15th, which means that we can likely expect the patch on Tuesday, January 12th in North America. So there's a lot that's coming there, and that's pretty much what I want to cover, although I do have a pretty big announcement uh, coming up. So if you can hang tight, I'd like to get to that uh, here in just a moment. But the whole thing with Diablo coming up, the next patch, is by far the biggest patch we've ever received, without a shadow of a doubt. All the sets got changed, or the majority of them got changed, buffed for the good, over 50 new legendaries, all this stuff that you've heard so far. But playing on the PTR and moving over to the live server to go back and play stuff, it feels like I'm playing a different game. I think you guys are in for an absolute treat if you haven't played the PTR, if you haven't had a chance to sample patch 2.4. I think you're absolutely going to love it. I mean, Diablo is probably the best patch you could possibly play, and it's still just sucking me back in three and a half years later. Still my favorite game, and I think you guys are in for a treat, and hopefully you guys are looking for that. With that being said, most of my videos tend to focus on a lot of the upper echelon stuff, or at least the informative side, to kind of keep you guys playing your best. Now, there's so many changes and so many set bonuses and so many different things that you can do now that there's actually... It feels like an almost infinite amount of things you can do. Obviously, that's a, a bit of a stretch, but the amount that you can do in Diablo now versus what you could do at any other point in Diablo is far and away just blowing all the past history away. So you're going to see a lot of just various you know videos that I'll be bringing, and hopefully you guys will enjoy that. There's a lot of fun, I think, to be had with this patch. Uh, so there's some really cool stuff that we'll be doing uh, with the channel and with the viewers. So you can see a lot of that. And uh, so Diablo is going to be coming hard and heavy the minute that patch goes live. The PTR has been under several changes with several sets being reworked over time. So I think we're going to see a few more changes once the final patch goes live. So when you see that, that's what's going to be exciting. Now for the announcement. Now, if you follow me on Twitch, then you probably have seen me do some commentary casting for Heroes of the Storm. And I am a big fan of Heroes of the Storm right now as well. Now, the casting and commentary side is a fairly new thing for me, although I've been working at it for several months now. I've just now started to get into uh, tournaments to where there I'm getting more and more uh, work, I guess you could say. So sometimes you'll see me on my stream, other times you'll see me on other streams. So if you guys have seen that, uh, then you already know what I'm talking about. But one of the cool things that just happened recently is that there is a large tournament being held in California by, held by Esports Arena. It's called Heroes Rising. And if you guys are in the competitive scene, you know what I'm talking about. And if not, then uh, I'll leave the information in the description below so you can check it out a little bit. This is actually going to feature the team that won BlizzCon World Championship. That's Cloud9. You also have some of the other top teams in the world, such as Tempo Storm and other games there. Now, the cool part about this is now... I get to do commentary and casting for that. I'm going to be flying out there and I get to do it on site in California. Now, I'm not on the main stage. That's going to be left to the more experienced and definitely more well-known Heroes of the Storm casters in Tempo, Zoya, and Gillyweed. Both fantastic casters. So if you want to check out the tournament itself, you're not going to go wrong watching that stream. They're going to be doing it on the main stage as well as it's going to be broadcast online. However, there is more than one game that is played at a time, which means that uh, they're having me do that. And that's really exciting for me to be a part of that event, uh, to be able to go out to California, to be able to do it on site, and to be able to do something that I really enjoy. Now, I know a lot of you people that are here are here for Diablo, and I 100% understand that. That's been what the majority of my channel has been about. Uh, but I do like to dabble in Heroes of the Storm quite a bit with some of the things that I have going on. So for those of you that have supported me uh, with Heroes of the Storm, I mean with Diablo, and that continue to support me, whether it be, you know, for Diablo 3, Heroes of the Storm, or any other content, uh, I really thank you. You know, I mean, that's, that's one of the main things with being a YouTuber and doing things is that the support that you get from other people is pretty much one of those things that continues to drive you. And I think that's uh, just one of those things that really helps out. And uh, it's really neat to have people supporting you 
with whatever you choose to do, especially on such a public platform. Uh, so, you know, if you guys are into that sort of thing and you want to check it out, I'll leave the description below. Uh, you'll be able to see me doing it live online. They're going to have a separate stream, uh, so you'll be able to check me doing that. That's going to be the show match is actually going to be on Friday, uh, January 8th, with the actual tournament being held on January 9th and January 10th. So... This coming weekend from this video is when we'll be seeing that in action. So that's a really big step for me. I'm also doing a weekly tournament. Uh, it's called Storm Lords. Uh, that one, I'm actually going to be doing a promo video for. I've actually got it finished, and I'm going to be putting it up as well. I didn't want to just put it on my channel, and people have no idea why it's there. But it's something that I did, I created, and uh, I put it together, obviously uh, using clips from other different places. But... It's another tournament that I do, so if you guys are into Heroes of the Storm or you just want to check out some of the other things that I've been working on in the meantime, check that out. But, again, with Heroes of the Storm, I'm doing that. But Diablo 3 is 100% my main focus, and I think you guys will understand that. Once the patch goes live, you're probably going to see a huge influx of videos, and rightfully so, because 2.4 is huge. So, uh, you know, again, I wanted to use this to basically extend... Uh, I guess an update on what I'm doing in Diablo, as well as some other projects that I'm working on. And then also to say thanks. I mean, the amount of, uh, I guess, people that I could probably name by name, both in Twitch, both in in the comments below, it is a pretty long list. Uh, you know, and I don't even have to pull up a page. I know a lot of you guys are, are very supportive and I really appreciate that. So special thanks to everybody. Um, a lot of behind the scenes thanks uh, to those people that have supported me and really kind of help critique my work, add to my work. Uh, Nathan, you're out there. Dave, super big thanks to you guys. And then, of course, uh, what you guys probably know, uh, Riker has done a huge amount of work uh, with me and I greatly appreciate his help. If you don't know Riker and you're playing Diablo 3, I don't believe you, but just in case, you can check out uh, his information in the description below. Um, I don't even think I need to do that, but you guys know who he is. Either way, big thanks to him. Uh, but again, if you want to check and see what I'm doing when I'm doing it, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, you know, you'll be able to find, I guess, different links from when I'm doing uh, Heroes of the Storm streaming. Not all the time it's going to be on my channel. Other times it's hosted by other people and they just let me kind of hang out and do it there. Else you can see when I go live doing a lot of stuff as well and get, get updates. That's generally where you can find the best updates as far as what I'm doing and when I'm doing it. You can also check out uh, the information, uh, you know, on YouTube as well. So uh, big thanks to everybody and uh, hopefully you guys are excited going forward. I've got a lot coming in 2016 that I want to do and hopefully you guys will be sticking around for all that and continue. The continued support is greatly appreciated. Uh, so thank you guys for everything so far and everything uh, so long as you're there in the future. If not, if you're just watching this video see what the heck's going on, thanks for watching. Um, as always, guys, happy hunting. Till next time, see you again.